Welcome to Monday, the 22nd day of April, 2024. Starting a new week, starting a new weather pattern, maybe? Well, yes, yeah, spring-like weather is going to return, as evidenced by that first bloom of the season up in level Wyoming. Temperatures and conditions are going to be a lot more spring-like as we go through this week ahead. So that bout of cold weather that many of you experienced late last week and for the beginning of the weekend is going to ease a little bit as temperatures are going to be moderating or really will be very, very spring-like. Not only will we have moderating temperatures, but April showers. As the week progresses, especially starting tomorrow and as we get into mid to late week, shower and thunderstorm activity will be developing across the region. We're going to be in an environment middle of this week through the weekend and into next week where we're going to be in a moist flow of air where moisture is just going to be available and this time of year with the longer days the higher sun angle and getting warmer that destabilizes the atmosphere if there's moisture around and that's going to give us these showers and thunderstorms so classic spring conditions this is going to keep the pattern pretty active especially midweek through the weekend Snow levels through the week and into the start of the weekend are going to remain high. We really don't have any Canadian connection to these systems that are coming off the Pacific. So we're looking at more wet than white down low. But there'll be some higher elevation snow as you would expect. Now, does this mean we're done with snow? No. It's hard to really be this deep into April and we're not into May yet. And even then, we know around here that you can always get yourself into a situation where you can get a storm that can still make it snow on the plains. So does that mean we can really put everything into gear yet and not worry about winter returning? The answer is no. Just enjoy these warmer conditions coming, but at least here for the next five or six days or so, we don't really need to worry about snow. But the system coming in this weekend and another one next week could be cold enough to bring those snow levels down again. As evidenced by what happened last week, with that freezing drizzle and rain that occurred across some areas of the high plains. And then there's a, guy, a great shot out of Golden, Colorado this weekend after that front came on through, reminding us that Mother Nature is still number one. The storminess that's going to be affecting the U.S., at least here to start the week, is going to stay north and east of us for the most part. You can see that swirl moving out of Alberta into south central Canada. It's going to go right like this staying north but it will drag a little bit of cooler air south into the area tonight and tomorrow but for the most part this area of clearing this area of high pressure is what's going to be coming on in here to start the week so this is going to lead to those moderating temperatures and overall some pretty nice weather conditions as you can see here where all the systems are there's the low over south central canada taking a track like this, just clipping areas east of the divide. So it's going to be a little breezy today. Do expect the wind to be up a bit, especially areas near that low. But that high pressure ridge coming in from the west right here is going to really moderate those temperatures Tuesday into Wednesday. And there we are by Wednesday, the highs right over the divide. But the counterclockwise rotation around this low will start to bring in a little bit of higher humidity air in off the Pacific. So this will start to moisten up the atmosphere. With the warmer temperatures under the high pressure, the increased humidity, and the low upstream, you have an unstable environment, but you have a warm environment. These are the temperature anomalies between today and Friday. So you can see nothing off the charts, but it is gonna be a little bit above average. So those tulips and those daffodils will be popping some more. And for those of you who've already had your tulips and daffodils, leaves will be coming out some more. Between now and Thursday, this is where the showers and thunderstorms are likely going to be. You can kind of see an arc here of instability where showers and thunderstorms are, are going to be forming in the afternoon and evening hours. Again, they're not going to be real organized, but if you're going to be doing anything outdoors sensitive to that risk that there may be some showers and thunderstorms around, this is especially going to be true Wednesday and Thursday, but even later today, a few showers will pop up tomorrow, but Wednesday and Thursday, they begin to pop a little bit more as that West Coast low inches a little bit closer. By Friday and the weekend, we have those low pressure systems now that we're off the West Coast, replacing the high. The high moves into the Great Lakes and the east, 
So as we get to the end of the week and the weekend, this bowl of low pressure right here begins to consolidate and just kind of want to sit across the west. There's the low up to the Aleutians that will reload these next week, as you'll see here in a minute. So what will happen? After a pretty mild work week, we're going to go into the weekend with temperatures getting colder. Chances of rain and mountain snow are going to go up. This is by Saturday. So as we get into Friday, Saturday there, we just keep those low pressure systems around. And then if we look at what we call the precipitable water, this is something we show you a lot in the summer. What this represents, the green and the blue, represents the deeper moisture. The white represents moisture that's about average for this time of year. The brown shows where the area air is drier. What I want you to get out of this graphic as we go through time, it begins, the first image begins right here at the beginning of the week, which is going to be right here, right here. Notice we get less brown as the week goes on. And you can see the blue and the green there coming out of the Great Basin. And then the front range, you see kind of an expansion of the moisture. And then as we get to the end of the week, so this is Thursday. And then as we get on into Friday, and as we get into Saturday and Sunday, there's a lot of blue and there's a lot of, there's a lot of green around. So the atmosphere is going to be rich with moisture. This time of year, just a little system to stabilize in the atmosphere is going to produce showers and thunderstorms. So an increasingly chance, an increasing chance of getting wet in many areas, both sides of the Continental Divide, happen late in the week and into the weekend. This far out, it's hard to really pinpoint where the best and heaviest precipitation is going to be, other than the chances for just about everybody will be going up later in the week, over the weekend, and into early next week as we still see systems coming. So this is for the 1st of May. So this is next Wednesday. These systems are just going to continue to come out of the North Pacific and through the area. So as we get into next week, basically the pattern repeats itself. But since this time of year, late April, May, June, on average, climatologically speaking, is when you expect active weather when you expect good chances of getting wet. If you don't get opportunities to get wet late April, May, and June, you're going to have a dry summer. Dry springs mean dry summers. Wet springs mean better summers. And so what we want to see is exactly what's showing up on the weather charts. Have yourself a good Monday. We'll see you tomorrow.